A reading from Isaiah. Come, all you who are thirsty, come to the waters. And you who have no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread, and your labor on what does not satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and eat what is good, and your soul will delight in the richest of fare. Give ear and come to me. Hear me that your soul may live. I will make an everlasting covenant with you, my faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not, and nations that do not know you will hasten to you because of the Most High your God, the Holy One of Israel. For the Most High has endowed you with splendor. Seek the Most High while the Most High may be found. Call on the Most High while the Most High is near. Let the wicked forsake their way and the evil their thoughts. Let them turn to the Most High and the Most High will have mercy on them and to our God, for our God will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Most High. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish, so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent it. The word of the Lord. A responsive reading of Psalm 63, verses 1 to 8. O God, you are my God, eagerly I seek you. My soul thirsts for you, my flesh faints for you, as in a barren and dry land where there is no water. Therefore I have gazed upon you in your holy place, that I might behold your power and your glory. For your loving kindness is better than life itself. My lips shall give you praise. So will I bless you as long as I live, and lift up my hands in your name. My soul is content, as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth praises you with joyful lips. When I remember you upon my bed, and meditate on you in night watches, for you have been my helper, and under the shadow of your wings I will rejoice. My soul clings to you, your right hand holds me fast. A reading from 1 Corinthians. I want you to remember, my brothers, what happened to our ancestors who followed Moses. They were all under the protection of the cloud and all passed safely through the Red Sea. In the cloud and in the sea, they were all baptized as followers of Moses. All ate the same spiritual bread and drank the same spiritual drink. They drank from the spiritual rock that went with them, and that rock was Christ himself. But even then, God was not pleased with most of them, and so their dead bodies were scattered over the desert. Now all this is an example for us, to warn us not to desire evil things as they did, not to worship idols as some of them did. As the scripture says, the people sat down to a feast which turned into an orgy of drinking and sex. We must not be guilty of sexual immorality, as some of them were, and in one day 23,000 of them fell dead. We not, must not put the Lord to the test, as some of them did, and they were killed by snakes. We must not complain, as some of them did, and they were destroyed by the angel of death. All these things happened to them as examples for others, and they were written down as a warning for us, for we live at a time when the end is about to come. Whoever thinks he is standing firm had better be careful that he does not fall. Every test that you have experienced is the kind that normally comes to people. But God keeps his promise, and he will not allow you to be tested beyond your power to remain firm. At the time you are put to the test, he will give you the strength to endure it, and so provide you with a way out. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Now there were some present at that time who told Jesus about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mixed with their sacrifices. Jesus answered, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered this way? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Or those 18 who died when the Tower of Siloam fell on them, do you think that they were more guilty than all the others living in Jerusalem? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you too will all perish. Then he told this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he went to look for fruit on it, but did not find any. So he said to the man who took care of the vineyard, For three years now I've been coming to look for fruit on this fig tree and haven't found any. Cut it down. Why should it use up the soil? Sir, the man replied, leave it alone for one more year and I'll dig around it and fertilize it. If it bears fruit next year, fine. If not, then cut it down. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 